Hi everyone, so I went to Michael's, it is what's today, Tuesday the 31st of May, and they had grab bags, so I bought two boxes and two bags, so I'm going to share with you guys what I got, and um, you can see they like super taped the boxes, so I already pre-opened one here to try to make it a little bit easier for us to get through. Oh, these are cute. We have, they are two bunny bags. We have to paint your eggs. Wow, those were $5 there. Oh, they're glitter. Oh, what was this? Oh, it came with tissue on those bunnies. How cute. Oh, those are really cute. Look, it came with tissue and the bags. And here is a different bunny bag. And here is the tag. Oh, look. One of the bags I got was of this little gnome right here. It is an Easter basket. Here is another one of those egg dies. We have a D. Oh, I saw tons of these in bags. I can't get that one out yet. Here's another egg die, another egg die. Oh, a bunch of these little tags. So I have F, Q, these were $2. I have a R, an L, an O, and an H. They had a lot of boxes. I was kind of tempted to get all the boxes, but I honestly just don't have space for anything. Um, bunny stop here. That's super cute. Oh, I got two of those. Um, uh, what is this? Oh, like a napkin ring. That's cute. I'm going to actually take that apart and use this, um, for crafting. There's another one of those bunny stop here signs. This is, oh, the kids are going to love this. So we have a color art set. How much was this? Six dollars originally. So I think I have three. Which is perfect. I could give those to the boys. And I'll have some more tags. I have a Y and an H. See, and one of the grab bags, I saw him through the bag. So I got that one. I'm like, even though it's pink and I don't like pink, I don't like that this is orange. I figured it was still a good deal. But then look, instead of this one, there are decorative eggs and decorative glitter eggs. This box was well worth the $5. What is this? Oh, we have like an egg pick, which was $2. And like I said, there was bags that had tons of these right here. Oh, look, here is another one of those napkin rings. And how much were these flowers? Whoa, these were $20. There was one bag that probably had like six of these. So these were $20. That's what that looks like right there. That's pretty tall. So I have one. Oh, here's another napkin ring. Here's another one of those. And then there's this one, $20. Oh, here's another Z. And here's what the other one looks like. So those were $20 a piece and I have three in this one bag. That was well worth the $5 right there. Just for those three at $20 a piece. That's amazing. Okay, let me put this stuff in the box and then I'll show you what else I got. Here is a quick look at box number two. Doesn't look as exciting. I am super excited for this little bunny basket right here. Look, it is a little bunny butt. That was $20 originally, wow. Definitely keeping that. Oh, look, there's the little ears. Oh, that is so cute. So keeping that. Oh my gosh, this um, was from February. I'm surprised that they still have these because I got those with Valentine's Day stuff last time. So there is a bunch of Black History Month little pieces in here. Um, I have an O. It looks like actually I have three O's. And how much were those? Those were $10 a piece on the O's. I have superhero paint, which I can keep for next year for the kids. So 
There's those. Here's some marble paint for the eggs. Look, here is some more of the Black History Month iron-on vinyl. There's three of those, and those were $25 a piece. Whoa, that was expensive. So, let's see. What is this? Oh, a placemat. So, there's one, two, three placemats. There is this little chickadee to make cookies. Oh, look, there are um, Chinese New Year cards. This is cute. I'm super happy I got that one. There's a little welcome with a blue truck and a little bunny butt. That was $15. There is a tag. There are some decorative eggs. And then there are a ton of these were from Black History Month. So there are a canvas and this is a little girl. And a subby told me to do Frankenstein out of these and Bride of Frankenstein. So I'm going to try that. I think that is so cute. So there's a little girl. There was also a boy. Not sure if he is in here. But look, there are a ton of these. There are quite a bit of those canvas. Um, oh, no, that's the girl. Actually, I think I have all girl in this box. If anybody has any ideas of what else I could do with this, I think a Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein would be super cute. But there's probably like a dozen of those. And then that's it. That was all in box number two. Let's see what's in our bags. So here's the first item out of our bag. I'm loving this. Am I going to do the little egg like this? No. I'm going to use it for pieces. So look, I have a bunch of foam dots right here. So I don't have to go to Dollar Tree and buy any little pop-up foam dots. I got them all right here. Plus I get a bunch of extra bling. So this kit was $13 originally. So I'm super stoked about that because I can definitely reuse that for other items. Here are some more of those canvas right here. There's two. There are a ton of window cleaning from Black History Month. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I got another one of these little Easter baskets that is a little gnomey. Super cute. And two more egg dyeing kits. There is, oh, that's cute. So we got a little sign and it's a countdown. So this is a chalkboard. So you could do like days until um, Easter. That's super cute. So there's one of those. There's two of those. There are purple carrots. Interesting. Two purple carrots. And there is a This Way, which was originally $10. This actually reminds me of like Alice in Wonderland, which I kind of want to do a Disney theme party one day. I don't know about this year, but maybe next year. Do like a Disney theme birthday party. I think it would be so fun. So I'm definitely going to be hanging on to those. That reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. There are two napkin rings that I said I'm going to take apart and use for crafting. And I got another O. So that was it for bag number one. Let me go get number two and let's see what we got in there. So bag number two has one, two, three layers of bag. They definitely did not want you to see what was in there. And it's more Black History Month stuff. I cannot believe that they still have this stuff. So there are... Four of these border, um, they're like classroom borders. There's four of those. There is some fabric. There are canvas. So that's what the canvas looks like. And then it comes with the supplies. So I'm going to repurpose these. My mom and I like doing like those free painting classes on youtube or on facebook 
So I'm just going to use this for that. So I love this. There are three paint brushes, the paints, and the little paint tray. So I'm just going to repurpose this so we can do a little art class. So there's one, two, three of those. Oh, look, this one's actually different. So this has a different one to paint. So there's those. And then we have uh, four, five of these window cleans for Black History Month. We have a wall decor to paint. And it looks like some classroom banners. So there's one and two there. And then two more of these to paint. So there's one and two. So that is everything that I picked up today in the Michael's grab bags. Okay, I thought honestly they were all Easter. But no, half of the stuff was from Black History Month back in February and half was Easter. So that's pretty interesting. Now I'm super curious to know what was in all the other bags. If you saw the photos that I posted to my community tab here on YouTube or on my Instagram, they had a ton of bags and boxes at this one location that I went to. So now I'm super curious to know what else was available in those bags and boxes but i'm just gonna stop at this because i have way too much stuff and honestly a lot of this is gonna go down to the kids school to get donated before school's over next week so yeah if i had more space i would have bought more bags but i just don't right now so i'm just gonna have to watch some haul videos and see what other people got because i'm so curious to see what other people got in there grab bags and their grab boxes what you could do is call your local store and ask them if they've done the bags one location said they actually started yesterday and they were putting them out and then today is what they had left over from yesterday so i had no idea that they went up as early as yesterday even so i'm really happy that i was able to get a couple and share with you guys what i found so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys are having a fabulous day and we'll see you later bye guys